Hello and welcome to Lunch with the Editor. Today we discuss presidential polls and the caste politics around the presidential election. The BJP, the ruling party, has announced its candidate, that is Ramnath Kovind, who is a two-time Rajya Sabha member and now the governor of uh, Bihar. So it's not an, not an unknown name, not an unknown face at all. But at the same time, there is a lot of surprise. The element of surprise is huge in the choice of uh, the candidate and the, his name and um, the mystery around it. Because all along, there were lots and lots of names that were being speculated, that were being bandied about. But suddenly, as of... Uh, pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Here comes Ramnath Kovind, the governor of uh, Bihar as the presidential candidate. And the most interesting thing about the candidature is that he is a Dalit, but he is not from one of the more dominant castes among Dalits. See, in every, in every strata, in every segment, in every social segment of our country, there are various castes. So Dalit is also not a monolithic identity. Among Dalits, there are various kinds of castes. So, for instance, the most important caste group among Dalits are, are, are uh, the Mahars, that is Ambedkar's caste, then Jatavs, that is like uh, Jagjivan Ram, Mira Kumar, uh, Mayavati, uh, Kanchi Ram. So, uh, the, uh, while Mahars are from Maharashtra, Jatavs are from uh, Uttar Pradesh and uh, Bihar, and then uh, you have uh, Pulayas of uh, Kerala, the first uh, Dalit Chief Justice of India. K KG Balakrishnan is from that caste. You, you have Pallars and Parayas of uh, Tamil Nadu. You have Malas, very, very important. The first Dalit uh, speaker, Balayogi, is from that caste, from uh, Andhra Pradesh. Then you have Holeyas from uh, Karnataka. So these are the general dominant Dalit communities, Dalit caste. And the most interesting thing about Kovin's candidature is that he is not, a, he is not from any of the dominant Dalit community. So, Bhavna, what is the message here? Is it to is it to somehow break into Mayavati's stranglehold over Dalit politics? It is uh, naturally it is that because BJP is also looking at 2019 now, and uh, they know Muslims they can't get, so they need an alternative. And to some extent, then they they know that Jatavs are not going to leave Mayavati, so they need to build up a. Uh, not alternative. alternative. So this is what they are trying to do now. But uh, these are minuscule minority um, in terms of when you compare uh, this particular community and, and there is still doubt about the nomenclature. I mean does he belong to, is, is the community called Kohli or is it, it is called Kori? Yeah, though BJP says it's Kohli, uh, they say that he's a Kohli not Kori. Okay. I believe it's a Kori term is used in some other states, but basically they say even they are Kolis only. Okay. 